Hello everyone. My name is Ye Liang. Thank you for taking time to watch my presentation. Today, I'm going to briefly introduce you an excellent paper based on convolution neural networks. The title of this paper is Copycat CNN Stealing Knowledge by Persuading Confession with Random Non-Labeled Data. Before we move to the detail, let's have a look at the background. Convolutional neural network is a category of deep neural networks that has recently been achieving state-of-the-art performance on a variety of problems such as visual classification and recognition, object detection, and others. Given their excellent performance in a wide range of tasks, many large companies, for example, Amazon AWS, Microsoft Azure, Google Cloud, Big ML, etc., offer cloud-based services to customers that allow them to offer their models as APIs that give access to their deeper learning models. Because of the resources and the money invested in creating these models, therefore, it is in their best interest to protect them, to avoid that someone else copy them. By analyzing reports and results from other researchers in this field, there is a living question of whether deep models can be easily copied and this works focus on copying by querying very with problem domain data. In recent years, researchers have been exploring some intriguing properties of deep neural networks. More superficially, investigating why someone can cause the network to misclassify an image by applying a certain imperceptible perturbation to the image. In general, state-of-the-art CNS are still vulnerable, and this weakness indicates that CNS do not need to operate in the problem domain. So, what's the purpose of this paper? Basing on what we noticed in the background part in this paper, they investigate if a target blackboard CNN can be copied by persuading it to confess its knowledge through random non-labeled data. The copy is twofold. The first one, the target network is queried with random data and its predictions are used to create a fake data set with the knowledge of the network. And the second, a copycat network is trained with the fake data set and should be able to achieve similar performance as the target network. Okay, let's take a closer look at how the work achieves its purpose. In this work, it presents a novel and a simple yet powerful method to copy a blackboard CNN model by persuading it to confess its knowledge through random non-labeled data. Let's look at, a, at a, a figure. On the left, the target network is trained with an original confidential data set and is served publicly as an API receiving images as input and providing class labels as output. On the right is presented the process to get stolen labels and to create a fake data set. A random neural images are sent to the IPI and the labels are obtained. It shows out that the copying is performed in two steps. The first step 
The target network is queried with random non-labeled data and the pairs of input images and output label are used to create a fake data set with the knowledge of the network. The second step, a copycat network is trained with the fake data set and should be able to achieve similar performance as the target network. Okay. Before we achieving the method, let's look at what is copycat CNN. The proposed method aims at copying a target network into a copycat version by only performing queries with random natural images in order to train a copycat network. A dataset is required. We propose to use a fake dataset annotated by the target network. The fake dataset named was chosen because the dataset actually compri uh, comprises images that are not related to the problem domain or images that are related to the problem domain but might not be properly labeled. Therefore, the fake dataset is totally different from the original used to train the target network. These labels generated by the target network are referred in this work as stolen labels. After generating a fake dataset, the training of a copycat network can be performed. In our first step, the attacker would choose a copycat model architecture. Note that the attacker might not know the model architecture of the target network to perform the copy, but this should not hinder the copy of the knowledge to a different model. In order to assist the comp comparison process, in, the, uh, in this work, the model was fixed to a well-known architecture, VGG16 architecture, referred to as VGG only. That in this performant experiments was the same for the target and the copycat networks. Now, let's move to the experimental methodology this session presents the experimental methodology of creating a copycat from a target black box CNN. Let's look at this figure. It presents an overview of the experimental methodology. The proposed method is compared to two baselines using a test data set while considering the three types of copycats. Each of the three copycat networks are evaluated in three different real-world problem types. In this figure, the number one represents the target network trained with original domain dataset, named ODD, used as baseline two. And uh, the, the second, number two, represents the baseline network trained with a small set of images from the problem domain with original labels. It can be represented as the PDOL. And uh, the number six represents the network trained with images from the problem domain with stolen labels which we can uh, write in PDOL, oh, PD, sorry, PDSL. And the number four represents the images from the non-problem domain with stolen label, which write in NPDSL. This is the number four. Okay, let's look into the number five. Number five represents the fine tuning of NPDSL network with PDSL dataset. 
NPD plus PDSL, the accuracy for all networks is obtained on data, test data set and compared with the target network accuracy and with the base, base, baseline network accuracy PDOL. Before we discuss the experimental results, let's look have more detailed with problems and metrics. In order to evaluate the proposed method with different real-world problems, three domain was chosen. Facial expression, general objects classification, and uh, satellite crosswalk classification. Additionally, the method was evaluated in a publicly available API and also in order to account for possible data in um, the micro average accuracy was used. The macro average computes a single average over the classes to measure the performance of the copycat networks. Their accuracies were compared with the baseline models. Here is the result of FER. As can we see, the target network accuracy was 88.7% and the PDOL network was 82.5%, which reached the 90 three percentage performance over target network. Although PDOL is able to achieve a good performance in this problem, all the other copycat networks improved over its performance. Here is the result of a GOC. The target network accuracy was 95.3% and the PDOL network accuracy was 82.1%, which reached 86.2% performance over target network. From the table, it shows that the PDSL dataset did not improve the NPDSL network in this problem domain. Next, the, this is the result of uh, SCC. In this experiment, all networks trained with stolen labels achieved a high performance over target network with less than 1% of difference. The worst result came from the PDOL network and the greatest accuracy was achieved by the MPB plus PDSL network where well, the images from the problem domain improved the performance by only 0.1%. Last, let's look at the result of Microsoft Azure Emotion API. As we can be seen from this table, uh, it performed poorly in the test data set when compared to the results of the FER experiments. Nonetheless, the copycat networks managed to achieve a performance very close to the API without using any data from the problem domain. The copycat network achieved 97.6% of the performance of the target network using only data from the problem domain 100.8 percentage of performance over the API was achieved. Surprisingly, combining both was worse than using only problem domain data. After those experiments, let's look at a general evaluation of all the data and the results. 
as we have to pay attention to, the copy attacks were performed with two different types of random data. One is non-problem domain and one is problem domain. These two types of data enables answering whether a CN requires problem-specific training data in order to operate properly in a specific domain. Okay, please look at this chart. The results showed that all copycat networks were able to achieve at least 93.7% of the performance of the original models. An experiment with the Microsoft Azure Emotion API also showed that the pro proposed method can successfully copy the performance of a black box model. When the training was performed with additional images from the problem domain, the copycat networks were able to achieve at least 98.6% of the performance of the original models. Okay, the main contribution of this paper can be listed as follows. A technique to copy black box CNN models. The finding that a model can be copied using ordinary natural and non-problem related images. Uh, extensive evaluation shows it is viable on different problems and big data sets. To the best of our knowledge, this is the first time the progress of copying a deep CNN model use random unlabeled data in investigated. These findings open up doors for future investigations in the field of transfer learning. Our results showed that the copy is possible even in real world problems. Since the method was evaluated using different combinations of databases and problem domains to copy the performance of a target network. Here is the references. Thank you for all watching my presentation.